we realized that there is there was not a coordinated effort uh, uh, to manage water based on scientific research information coordinated effort I mean uh, a coordinated progress or, or, or process to communicate with farmers, crop consultants, natural resources districts, uh, irrigation districts, uh, and NRCS, Natural Resources Conservation Service. Initially, uh, of course, we partnered in extension with extension educators and, and few natural resources districts initially, and 15 farmers, where we implemented technology into their fields uh, and teach them how to use the technology, how to interpret, how to incorporate into their irrigation management decisions. Um, and so now we went from 15 farmers to over 1,200 farmers, partners, uh, collaborators in the network in 2014. So the idea, one of the objectives, I guess, it was to in incorporate or implement technology into our practices. Uh, make decisions based on technology, based on science, based on research data, research information, um, and hopefully slowly leave our traditional, conventional, uh, non-technological decision making so that we can be the leader in the, in the nation in terms of water management, agricultural productivity, and, and other related topics. In terms of acreage that we represent or our partners, collaborators, collaborators represent in the network, we are up to 1.7, 1.8 million acres. And our initial goal was to reduce irrigation withdrawal uh, by say two inches per growing season. And we have accomplished that. If you take two inches times you know, 1.7, 1.8 million acres, that is a significant amount of water that we did not withdraw. It remained in the aquifer. It is about positive change of certain practices and, and I think you know we owe so many things to our farmer collaborators in the network this is their accomplishment uh, and they responded to, to our research and science and, and education programs and now it's uh, this network became as far as I know the largest water management network in the in the nation.